Thanks for joining me today. Uh, let's make a start straight away. So bring the big toes together, knees just a little bit wider than the torso, and then let's walk the hands forward, coming out into your extended child's pose, relaxing the forehead down. So you can keep the arms relaxed for a moment, just taking the time just to drop into the body, starting to bring the attention to the breathing. And just noticing how you're feeling and how your body's feeling. And then let's start to be a little bit more active through those arms. So extend those hands even further away, plugging down through the palms. As you inhale, reach away through the arms. As you exhale, draw the sitting bones down towards the heels. And just do that a few more times. As you inhale, reach away through the arms. As you exhale, draw the sitting bones down towards the heels. And just another couple of times. Now let's walk the hands over to the right hand side, stack the left hand on top of the right and then just sit back down, reach that left sitting bone away from the hands. So you're feeling that stretch along the left side waist. Take one full inhale, exhale to hold. And then let's inhale, walk the hands back through centre, all the way over to the left hand side, stacking the right hand on top of the left this time. Take a full inhale, as you exhale, draw that right sitting bone down. And then on your next in breath, let's walk the hands back to centre and then come up onto all fours. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, tuck the toes under and then sit the hips back towards the heels and then walk your hands away from you once again, bringing the forehead down. Taking an inhale here, as you exhale, C curve the spine up towards the ceiling, tucking the chin in. And then as you inhale, allowing that pelvis to come forward, Allow the shoulders to stay open. Just a very soft up face dog variation here. Let's take another in breath. As you exhale, shift the hips back towards the heels. And then we're going to take an inhale to hold. Exhale, draw the navel in. C curve that spine up towards the ceiling. And then as you inhale, let that pelvis come forward, open across the collarbones, looking straight ahead. And then exhale, press the sitting bones back. Inhale, hold it here. Exhale, C curve the spine, draw that belly button in, let the chin tuck in, and then inhale to unfurl forward. And then exhale, press it back. Just do a few more, just in your own breath cycle. We're just really trying to get that spine moving and mobilized and starting that process of connecting the breath with movement. Let's finish off your last one. Bring the uh, hips back towards the heels and then come into your down facing dog. First down facing dog and you might want to pedal out through the feet or wriggle out through the hips. Just do anything that you need to do. Just be nice and gentle for the first one and then just settle down just for one full breath. Inhale through the nose and then exhale out through the nose. Let's walk the feet forward up towards the hands. Keeping the feet hip distance apart, knees slightly bent, taking an inhale into your halfway lift, draw the quadriceps up, hands can come to the shin bones, and then exhale, soften down. Feel free to bend the knees. And three more times like that, inhale, halfway lift, draw the navel in, and then exhale, soften. Two more, inhale, and then exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Soften through the knees. Let the head be the last thing to come up. Draw the navel in as you roll up through the spine. One vertebra at a time, coming all the way up. 
stacking the head right on top of the shoulders. Bring the feet together, you just stay at the top of the mat, I'm just going to come to the center, big toes together, heels, slide, uh, heels together, let's extend out through the fingertips, reach the arms up, let's hook the thumbs, taking an inhale, press down through the feet, soften the floating ribs inwards, and just hold it here for a moment, find your breath. Imagine you're trying to pull the hands apart. Take another inhale, really lengthen up. As you exhale, let's lean out over towards uh, your right. And then inhale, come up through center, exhaling over to the left. Inhale through center, exhaling to the right. Inhale through center, exhaling to the left. One more time, inhale through centre, exhaling to the right and let's hold it here. Try to keep that left shoulder stacked over the right. Keep breathing. Take one more inhale, exhale, leaning down just a little bit more and then inhale to come up. Just swap the, the thumbs around so you're hooking the other way. Take an inhale, reach up, exhaling over to your left. We're going to hold it here. Keep leaning away with those arms. Imagine a crescent moon shape here. Keep breathing. Take one more inhale. Exhale, come down a little bit deeper and then inhale, come back up. Exhale, release those arms down. Just give the shoulders a little bit of a circle and then circle the other way. And then just continue standing at the top of the mat. Just standing in your Tadasana, reaching out through the fingertips. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up, palms the hands together, looking towards the thumbs. And then exhale, swan dive forward into your Uttanasana. You can keep the knees bent here if you need to. Relax the head down. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften through the knees to step that right leg back, coming into your sprinter's lunge drawing that sternum forward, just holding it here for a few breaths. We're going to do one round that's just nice and slow and then we'll start moving through this Surya Namaskar variation a little bit faster. Try to press that right knee up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale to draw the chest forward. Exhale, plant the hands, press back into your down facing dog. Inhale, ripple the spine forward into your plank position, fine plank, reach the heels back. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Let's take modified Chaturanga for the first one in case that's what you want to work with. Take an inhale, exhale, come down to the knees. Exhale, bend those elbows straight back, just halfway down. Press through the feet, coming into your up face dog. If you feel ready to take those knees off, then just go for it. Looking straight ahead or just slightly up. And then exhale back into your down facing dog. And let's take five full breaths here. If ujjayi breathing is part of your practice, then you can start to bring in that ujjayi breath. That slow, sweet breath. It's a long, slow breath in. And long, slow breath out, drawing that belly in. Steady gaze with the eyes. Take an inhale to sweep that right leg up into your three-legged dog. Just keep the leg parallel. Try to straighten that right leg as much as you can. Left kneecap keeps drawing up. Take another inhale to reach that right heel up. Exhale, bring that knee to the center of the chest and step it as far forward as you can. Finding your sprinter's lunge. Take an inhale to draw that chest forward. Exhale to hold. One more inhale. As you exhale, step that left foot forward fold down taking an inhale reverse the swan dive back up to standing palms the hands together soften the lower rib cage in as you exhale coming straight back down again inhale halfway lift 
Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, stepping that left leg back. We'll just start to move through just a little bit faster. Take an inhale to draw that chest forward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, forward to your plank. Feeling free to continue with your modified Chaturanga, otherwise full Chaturanga, shift the weight slightly forward. Elbows go straight back, shoulders stay above the elbows, press through the feet. Inhale, up dog, open across the shoulders. Exhale, down dog. Five full breaths. Once that space starts to open up in your down dog, you can start to really be a little bit more active, really plugging down through the hands. Try to roll the armpits to face one another. This will just open up through the upper back. And five. Let's take that left leg up into your three-legged dog. Inhale. Just take a couple of breaths here just to find that alignment for this first one. So you're trying to keep that left leg parallel. Left little toe spiraling down. Take another inhale to lift that left leg up. Exhale, knee comes to the center of the chest and step it as far forward as you can. Inhale to draw the chest forward. Reach that right heel back. Exhale, Uttanasana, folding down. Inhale, coming all back, all the way back up, Urdhva Hastasana, and then exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knee, step that right leg back. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. Five breaths. Through following the breathing, we anchor the mind to the body. This is a big part of the yoga practice. Take an inhale, extend that right leg up into your three-legged dog. As you exhale, shift the weight forward. Bring that knee to the center of the chest, little hover and hold. Inhale, sweep that right leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, over to the right tricep. Inhale, sweep that right leg back. Exhale, over to the left tricep. Little hover and hold. Inhale, sweep that right leg back. Exhale to center, step it forward. Inhale here, exhale, start to straighten that right leg. So we're coming into pyramid. You can come right up onto the fingertips. If you have a block, if you need a block, you can come up a little bit higher. If it's okay, just hands flat, just relaxing the head down. Or if you need to keep this right knee slightly bent, that's also totally fine. Find your breath. We're just gently trying to draw that right hip back here. Let's take an inhale, bend into that right, right leg. Exhale, stepping forward into your Uttanasana, folding down. Inhale, coming back up to standing. Exhale, diving forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stepping the left leg back. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. 
Another five breaths. Probably feeling a little bit more length and openness through the backs of the legs. So you can start to really engage those quadriceps, draw the kneecaps up. Finding that balance between anchoring the heels down and lifting the sitting bones up towards the ceiling. Let's take an inhale, extend that left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to the centre of the chest, little hold. Inhale, sweep that left leg back. Exhale, over to the left tricep. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale to the right tricep. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, forward to centre, stepping it forward. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Urdhahasasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step the right leg back. Inhaling. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One full breath here. Inhale. And then exhale to hold. Inhale, come forward into your plank position. Exhale, soften through the knees. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Drop the heels down. Spinal roll up. Head is the last thing to come up. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands together, draw them down through the centre line. Let the head drop forward, soften through the knees and then really shoot the head out to catch yourself in plank. Inhale, hold. Exhale, bend the knees, walk the hands back. Drop the heels down. Inhale. Exhaling. Shooting the head out. Fine plank. Inhale. Exhale. We've got two more. This is two, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale. Inhale to hold, exhale, walk the hands back. Keep the feet parallel as you roll up. This is the last one, inhale, exhale, spinal roll down. Find yourself in plank, five full breaths. If for any reason it's too much on your wrist, just come down to your forearms. Keep lifting through the belly, keep reaching those heels back. One more full breath, inhaling. Exhale, down dog. Full breath here, inhale. And let's exhale out through the mouth. Take another inhale. Exhale to hold. Inhale, sweep that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping it forward. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, pyramid, moving through. Inhale, bend through that right knee. Shift the hands forward, coming into your standing split. Hands can be flat if you've got a block. If you need to be up a little bit higher with the torso, then feel free but it's nice if you can let your head relax down here. Try to keep this left hip rotating in. If you would like to bring that right hand behind the right calf. Keep drawing that right kneecap up. Keep breathing. Keep drawing the belly in. And then let's release that right hand if you were holding the calf. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, soften through that right knee to bring that left foot forward and fold down. We're going to take a halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Sweeping back up to standing. Inhale, palms together. And then exhale, fold. One more. Just like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Bend the knees, step the left leg back. Inhaling. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take one full breath here, inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, come forward into your plank position. As you exhale, bend through the knees, walk the hands back, drop the heels down. Take an inhale, sweeping the arms up, palms together. Exhale, uh, rolling down. Take an inhale at the top. Exhale, coming back. So we've got three more. This is three. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale in plank. Exhale, walk the hands back. This is two. Inhale. Exhaling. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Finding yourself in plank here. Another five breaths. Option here to just lift that right uh, foot off if you'd like to create a little bit more challenge. Keep breathing. Place that right foot down. Let's take the left leg off. Just a couple of inches is fine. Place that left foot down. Take one full inhale. Exhale, down dog. Take one full breath in, exhale out through the mouth. Inhaling, exhale hold. Inhale, extend that left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, hold. Exhale, pyramid, moving through. Inhale, bend that left leg. Shift the hands forward and come up into your standing split. Remember using the block or onto the fingertips, rotating that right hip down. So we're trying to engage that right glute. If occasionally you want to just open that hip out, then that's totally fine. But the pose does try to challenge you by keeping that right leg parallel. Option to bring that left hand behind the left calf and keep breathing. Two more breaths. Try to soften through the face, soften the shoulders. Release that left hand out. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Bend through that left knee, folding forward. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, draw the hands down through the center line. And we're just gonna close the eyes. Just taking some time here just to let everything slow down. Feeling the weight pouring down into the feet as you lift up and away from the earth. Noticing the, all the subtle movements that continue even though we've come to stillness. And then let's open the eyes, release the arms down by your side, bend through the knees, take the arms up into your Utkatasana, so arms up alongside the ears, and either the hands can stay shoulder distance apart, or you can bring the palms, the hands together if you've got the space in the shoulders. Eyes can just look straight ahead or down or slightly up. Take an inhale to scoop up through the belly, lift up through the chest. As you exhale, sit down a little bit deeper and try to shift the weight back into the heels and then just hold it here. Keep your breathing going. Take an in another inhale, reach up through the sternum. Exhale, sit down a little bit deeper. One more full breath here. Inhale and then exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump back into your plank position and lower down, Chaturanga. Press through the feet. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One full breath here, inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale, extend that right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between the hands. Place that left heel down, coming up into your warrior two. Shoulders over the hips, left toes pointing out to the side, and then setting the gaze over towards the right middle finger. Five full breaths. Find that ujjayi breath. Keep directing that right knee towards the toes. Option here to try to come down a little bit deeper into that front leg. One more full breath. Exhale here. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Press the heels, the hands together. Shift the chest towards the diagonal. Take an inhale, lift the chest, lift the arms. Exhale, dive forward, humble warrior. Letting the head relax down. Five breaths here. Try to reach that right sitting bone towards that left heel to scoop it underneath you. Try to let the head be relaxed or the back of the neck relaxed. If there's space, lifting those arms off the back. Last breath. On your next inhale, keep the legs as they are, but shift back into your reverse warrior. Left hand light on the back leg. Option here to wrap that left arm behind you. Anchor down through the outside edge of that left foot. Take one more inhale as you exhale, coming over into your side angle, over onto the forearm or right down to the inside edge of that right foot. Palm can be flat. Extend that left arm over, turning the head to look up. Eyes can look towards the left fingertips. Five breaths. Feeling that long line all the way through the outside edge of that left foot out through the left fingertips. And then keeping the legs as they are on your next in breath, we're going to circle back into our reverse warrior. We're going to move through. Exhale, circle the hands down. Come to the ball of the left foot. Sweep that right leg back. Inhale. Exhale, come forward. Option to keep that right leg off as you lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One full breath here. Inhaling and exhaling. Taking that left leg up, inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward. Right heel comes down. Open out to your warrior two. Five breaths. Feeling the strength in this pose, really grounding down through the feet. Imagine you're being lengthened out through both sides of your arms. So imagine two people are just lengthening your way. One more full breath here. Exhale to hold. Come down a little bit deep into that front leg. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Press the heels and hands together. Shift onto the diagonal. Inhale. Lift the arms, lift the chest, exhale, diving forward, humble warrior. Relax the head down. Keep pressing down through the outside edge of that right foot. Draw that left sitting bone towards the inside edge of that right foot. Last breath. On your next inhale, keep the legs as they are as you shift back into your reverse warrior. Wrapping that right hand behind you if you'd like to. One more inhale. Exhale, coming down into your side angle, either forearm or hand down onto the mat. Reaching that right arm over.
using that left shoulder to gently press that left knee back. On your next in-breath, come straight back into your reverse warrior. And then exhale, circle the hands down, come to the ball of the right foot. Inhale, sweep that left leg up. Exhale, forward to your plank, lowering down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath here, inhaling. And exhaling. We're going to move through that sequence one more time, just flowing through. Take an inhale, reach that right leg up. Exhale, step it forward, left heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, circle the hands down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Right heel down. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, interlace the fingers. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, circle the hands down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Full breath in here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, soften through the knees. Look forward towards the hands. You can step or jump forward, taking an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Soften through the knees. Inhale. Utkatasana. Exhale. Releasing back to Tadasana. And again, inhale. Utkatasana. Exhale, draw the hands down through the center line, twisting to your right, hook that left elbow over the right thigh and then turning to look over the right shoulder, holding it here. The left knee will want to come forward, so drag it back so it stays in line with the right knee and keep breathing. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, try to turn the shoulders a little bit more and then Folding forward into your Uttanasana, relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, palm the hands down through the center line. Twisting to your left now, hooking that right uh, elbow over the left thigh and turning to look over the left shoulder. This time, trying to draw the right knee back. Just keeping the knees in line as much as you can. Trying to bring the palms of the hands towards the center of the chest. Keep breathing. Take one more inhale. Exhale to hold and turn a little bit deeper. And then on your next in breath, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step or jump back into your plank position, lowering down Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take an inhale, extend that right leg up into your three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between the hands. Stay on the ball of the left foot, coming up into your crescent moon lunge. Just take a moment to find your crescent moon lunge. Lift up through that left hip. And then when you're ready, start to reach back through that left heel. And you can start to extend that sternum up towards the ceiling. 
if that feels okay for your back. Otherwise, just looking straight ahead. Keep spiraling the armpits towards one another. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, let's open out that left heel and then straighten into that right leg, arms down to shoulder height. Just bend through the right knee, step that left foot a little bit further forward, shortening the stance to get ready for Trikonasana. Take an inhale, exhale, leaning out over towards that right leg, place the back of that right hand to the inside edge of the, the shin bone and then turning the head to look up towards the left arm. Option here to extend that left arm over the left ear. This can help you find more length through both sides of the waist. Keep breathing. And then let's soften through that right knee just to come back up, open up that left foot, coming into your warrior two for a moment. Take an inhale, bring that left hand to the left waist. As you exhale, shift forward, right hand slightly towards the right of your front foot. Keep looking down, lifting that left leg up into your half moon, really strongly flex through that left foot. If you do need a block here, you could just use a block with your right hand. And then when you feel ready, you can start to turn the shoulders to face the side. And if you've got your balance, extend that left arm up towards the ceiling. And you can turn the eyes to look up as well. Keep breathing. Keep drawing that navel in. Really draw that right kneecap up. Three more full breaths. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, soften through that right knee, look down and just shift back into your warrior two. One more inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands down, come to the, uh, come to the left knee, release the toes. Inhale to sweep the arms up, palms the hands together, draw them down through the center line and let's hook the left elbow over the, left, uh, the right thigh. So we're coming into Parivrita Pashvokanasana or twisted side angle. Try to draw that right sitting bone back. And let the breath slow down here. If you are feeling like you've got the energy, you could always tuck the back toes under and lift that left kneecap off. But I'm just going for a modified variation here to have a little bit of recovery. One more inhale. As you exhale, take that twist a little bit deeper and then return the hands back towards the front foot. Tuck the back toes under. Press back to down facing dog. Feel free to stay in your down facing dog. Otherwise, if you want a vinyasa, take an inhale, come forward to your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One full breath here, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, extend that left leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, step it forward in between the hands. Stay on the ball of that right foot and come up into your crescent moon lunge. Thinking about lifting the right hip up now. Keep pressing back through that right heel and you can lift the sternum up. Reach up through both sides of the waist and right up through the fingertips. Take one more inhale. Exhale, place that right heel down and then straighten that front leg. Stepping the right foot slightly forward, Trikonasana, inhale. Exhale, leaning out over towards that left leg, extending up through the right fingertips. Option here to extend that right arm over the right ear. One more full breath. On the next inhale, soften through that left knee to come back up to your warrior two, stepping that right foot slightly out. Take an inhale. As you exhale, right hand to the waist, shifting the weight forward onto the left foot, 
left hand down, extend that right leg up, coming into your half moon. Keep drawing the navel in. When you're ready, starting to turn the shoulders to face the side wall. If you've got the balance, taking that right arm up and you can turn the head and the eyes to look up as well. Keep breathing. Keep drawing that left kneecap up. Three more full breaths. And then soften through that left knee, reach that right heel down, coming into your warrior two, take an inhale, exhale, circle the hands down, come down to the right knee, release the toes, inhale, sweeping the arms up, exhale, palms of the hands together, taking a twist to the left side, hooking that right elbow, you can use your hands to help you get a nice twist and then bring the palms of the hands together again. This time trying to draw that left hip back. And even though the breath gets a little bit constricted in the twists, just see if you can try to find the space. Still nice long in breath and long out breath. One more inhale. As you exhale, try to take the twist a little bit further and then releasing the hands back down, stepping back into your down facing dog. Feel free to hold it here, otherwise vinyasa with me. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take one full breath here, inhaling through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. One more time, deep breath in, exhaling out. Let's come down into a wide legged child's pose, knees out, big toes together. Just allow the arms to be relaxed, forehead down. And just allow, allow everything to slow down here. You can close the eyes. Allowing the hips to be heavy. Just noticing the effects of the practice. All that beautiful work you've just been doing. Being with the body and being with the breath. Let's extend those arms back out again. Come into your down facing dog. Just for a moment, we're going to step that right foot forward in between the hands, come down to the left knee, release the toes, inhale those arms up into your low lunge and then keep circling them back, fingers pointing up, thumbs to the inside edge of your spine, take an inhale to lift the hips slightly back, as you exhale start to come forward again and use your thumbs to drop your tailbone down, squeeze the arms together and lift the chest up. Take one more inhale, as you exhale, bring the hands down. Walk this right foot out to the side, both hands can come to the inside. Two different options here, you might want to stay here and just come down into your lizard and stay there. If you want to take a different variation, you can come down to the forearm or stay on that left hand. Bend that left foot in, reach the right hand back, try to take hold of the inside edge of that left foot and then just hold it here and opening up into a twist when you feel ready. Keep supporting the pose by gently drawing the navel in so you're staying connected to the center but at the same time when you feel that space you can start to bring the hips down a bit further down towards the mat. Easy breath. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, allow those hips to come down a little bit deeper if you can. And then let's just release that back foot if that's where you are. If you're just in lizard, just coming back up, walk this right foot back to center. Take an inhale, exhale, start to strain that right leg. 
Walk the hands back, flex the right foot towards the face, keeping this left hip over the left knee. And in your own time, just starting to come forward over this front leg. If you want to work a little bit deeper, you could start to reach that right heel forward. Anyone who wants to work into their front splits, if you've got two blocks, you could hold two blocks. Keep drawing that right hip back, left hip forward. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and just find your breath. Feeling free to stay back in that half Hanumanasana. That's totally fine. Beautiful favourite pose of mine. Keep pressing forward through the ball of the front uh, big toe. Take one more inhale if you're forward with the right heel. As you exhale, start to draw it back into the halfway point. Everyone bending into that front leg. Tuck the back toes under. Step back down facing dog. Take a breath here. Stepping that right, uh, left foot forward, forward in between the hands, come down to the right knee, release the toes. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, circle the hands back. Fingers to are pointing up, thumbs to the inside of the spine. Take an inhale, lift the hips, and then exhale, shifting the hips forward. Keep squeezing the elbows in, and you can lift the sternum, lift the eyes. Take one more inhale, exhale, releasing the hands down. Bring both hands to the inside and just walk this left foot out to the side. And then here, just choosing either lizard here or down on your forearms. If you would like to take the other variation, bringing the forearm down or just staying on that right hand, bending that right foot in, taking hold of the inside edge of that right foot and then starting to take a twist towards the left, kicking into your left hand with that right foot. Just stay with your breathing. Notice if there's any space that opens up. This is a really strong but incredible stretch and opening through that right hip flexor and right quadricep. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, see if you can come down a little bit deeper and then let's release that back foot if that's what you were holding and then coming back up. Bringing that left foot back to centre, take an inhale, exhale, starting to straighten that left leg, flexing that left foot towards the face. And just in your own time, you're just starting to fold forward if you can. And then those of you that want to work a little bit deeper, starting to reach that left heel forward and right knee can come back. Just continue to try to draw that left hip back and the right hip forward. Relax the shoulders down. One more full breath here. Inhale. Exhale to hold. If you've got the left heel forward, let's take an inhale to draw it back and then softening through the right knee. Tucking the back toes under, stepping back into down facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale to hold. Now let's uh, look forward in between the hands, come down onto the right knee and then the left knee. Sit over to one side and then let's extend those legs forward. So we're going to come into our forward bend or Paschimottanasana, feet together, pressing down through the palms, the hands, Open across the collarbones, taking a deep inhale. And then as you exhale, folding forward and taking hold of your shin bones or your ankles or the outside edges of the feet, relaxing the head forward. Just staying here for five full breaths. Keep actively pressing down through the backs of the legs. If for any reason this feels super uncomfortable for you, you could always keep your knees slightly bent or grab a strap or a belt. One more full breath in. And then exhaling out. 
Let's come back up and bend that right knee, cross that right leg over the left, standing onto that uh, right foot, right hand behind you, extend that left arm up, inhale, exhale, twisting to the right, looking over the right shoulder. As you inhale, think about lengthening up through both sides of the waist. As you exhale, see if you can find a little bit more space through that upper body. Take one more inhale. And then exhale to hold. And inhale, come back to centre. Let's extend that right leg forward. Bending that left leg up, crossing it over the right, standing down on it. Left hand behind you, reach that right arm up, inhale. And then exhale, just using that right arm as a lever to help you find that twist, looking over that left shoulder. Try to keep both sitting bones down on the mat. Keep pressing down through the back of that right leg. Think about that spiraling action happening through the upper body. Last full breath in, inhale. Exhale, find a little bit more space. And then inhale, come back to centre, releasing that left leg down. And then let's make our way onto the, our back. So hands down, lying all the way down. Hug the knees into the chest, interlacing the fingers. Just take an inhale. As you exhale, lift the head and shoulders off, squeezing yourself into a little ball. Closing the eyes for a moment. Take one more full breath. And then let's inhale, release the head down. And then let's extend the left leg and the right leg away. Finding your Shavasana, release those arms down by your side, palms facing up. Make sure that you feel really nice and comfortable. If you feel cool, just grab a blanket or pop on a jumper. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. We'll do that two more times. Deep breath in. Exhaling out. Last one. Inhaling. Exhaling. allowing the breathing to settle back into its natural rhythm. Imagining that the air is soft all around you. The air is soft as you breathe it in and soft as you breathe it out. And allowing yourself to come to a place of complete rest. And if the mind feels really busy and you want to give it a point of focus, then gently bring it back to just following the inhale and exhale of your breathing. Just resting here just for a couple of minutes. Feeling free to stay here if you have the time or if that's what you feel like doing. If you're ready to come out of Shavasana, then start to deepen into your breath. Starting to feel the belly rise and the belly fall.
Let's reach the arms up above the head, really lengthening out through the fingertips. Take a big inhale to reach out through the fingers, lengthen out through the toes, and then as you exhale, let everything soften. Bending up through the knees, rolling over to one side and just staying there for a moment. Keeping the eyes closed if you can, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Resting the hands lightly on the thighs. When you're ready, let's bring the palms of the hands together in front of the chest. Just bowing the head down towards your hands. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.